Today's video, we're going to be breaking down how to stop youth grips in Madden 25. Uh, this is a formation that gives a lot of people issues. And so I wanted to break down a couple of my favorite ways to defend this formation. Some of my favorite covered shells, some of the covered shells that I've seen other people use that I think are really effective. And um, it's going to be out of dollar. Now, the reason I'm doing these videos out of dollar is because dollar generally is there's always a good effective way to run dollars so i want these videos my goal is to make them as timeless as possible so that you can apply them in any year of the game and so we're going to be doing so out of the dollar defense or primarily focusing on coverage um, so we're not going to do any real blitz blitzes for this if you guys want my full dollar ebook completely updated with the best blitzes in the game it is in our school community school.com slash cody ballard I'll put a link to that in the description down below. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. And you can apply these principles to formations similar to U trips, such as Y trips week, wing trio, wing trips in college football 25. These are all cross applicable. All right, so for this defense, what I like to do is in my coaching adjustments, I like to turn auto flip off, auto run on base. Uh, option defense on conservative. I don't normally like to set zone drops in general, uh, but you can put your hook curls on five uh, if they're killing you underneath. Uh, but in general, we're going to leave these on default. And our audibles, we have cover six willy, DP fire two, edge blitz three, and cover four palms. This is going to give us the best uh, versatility within our coverage. We have a cover six, a cover two, cover three, cover four. We have match shells in here, all that stuff that you need. And then we're going to be coming out in double safety go flipped. Now, when we come out in double safety go flipped, the first covered shell that I like to run, really the most simple one, is edge blitz three. And so the reason we're going to use edge blitz three here is we're going to have a cover three shell, uh, but we're going to actually slightly tweak this cover three shell. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this um, slot corner on the left side, and we are going to put him on a hard flat. We're going to take this safety that is over here and we're going to put him on a middle third this is going to really help to bend kind of the seam streaks over here to the right side and then or on the left side and then on the right side what i like to do um, is i like to go ahead and shade underneath at this point and then we're just going to take the safety and man him up to the tight end now the reason we're going to man this safety up to the tight end um, is because we are going to is because we're going to basically uh, try to take away the tight end seam streak. Now, the last step in this adjustment that I typically like to do is shade over top and then re-hard flat on the left side. So you could also purple on the left side as well. Um, that'll do a really good job against the running back wheels and stuff, but I like the hard flat generally. And this is kind of what the defense is going to look like. Now, we talk about what is open and what, is this, what does this actually defend well. One of the main plays that you see a lot of U trips is this play uh, with this tight end corner. So, what you're going to see here is this combination of the man up and the cloud is going to take that away, and it's going to force them to have to check down underneath to their flat route. Which, at the end of the day, if you're giving up a flat route, you know, that's not the end of the world. So, you know, just kind of not worried about the flat route, honestly. The next thing that we're able to do here is we're also able to put our user in coverage on this post. So I'm going to kind of work to here, and then I can easily just work back over here. And you see that we're able to kind of take away the main components of this quick hike play that is very, very popular within the U-Trips formation. We're kind of creating, if you will, a bracket on the tight end, as the tight end is one of the most important players to cover in this offense this is my base coverage shell um and this is kind of the, the main one that i like to use against u trips it's a simple shell but it does a really good job at defending the tight end uh the tight end corner routes the next coverage shell that i like to use is a slight variation of this one it's going to be set up out of edge blitz three as well and what we're going to do is we're just going to shade down shade over top and then we're going to hard flat, middle third, man up the tight end. And then we're going to man up ourselves onto this outside guy. Now, the reason we're going to man ourselves up on the outside guy is so that we can switch stick onto probably, in most cases, this middle third. Uh, so the reason that this is an effective adjustment is because one of the other things that you will see in a U-Trips offense is you'll see combos like this, for example, 
Uh, this is a really popular combo uh, that people like to do. And so what I like to do is we have this man up on the tight end. So if I see something like this, I'll kind of like switch stick onto the middle third, and that allows me to take the post. And then I have kind of this backside guy manned up if he runs over the middle of the field. So as you see here, that man up will just bite down onto that drag. Uh, this is also really good for another play in U-Trips that I personally would love, uh, that I think is one of the better plays in U-Trips, is this tight end whip play uh, where we have this kind of nice post route here on the left side. You can kind of do all kinds of stuff here on the left. Uh, but we have this nice post route to the solo or to the outside trips receiver. And again, what you're going to see here is I'm just going to man this guy up. I love to man up the tight end. And essentially, if you just kind of look at this play, the main thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be switch sticking onto this third and then trying to basically rob the running backs. As you see here, I just switch stick onto the third. And then the cross man is going to do a really good job of defending this outside trips receiver. So as you see here, I kind of recognize, oh, it's tight end whip. I know that I pretty much know that this guy is going to be on this post, right? So I'm going to instantly switch stick onto the middle third, and now I can play this running back route fairly decently. But then look at this cross man up on this player. I think it does a really good job of defending of defending um, that route. Now the next shot that we're going to go on over is a little bit more of a kind of a justy coverage that uh, is going to do really good. And I'm going to have a kind of a final uh, shell for you that I really like against you trips. Just kind of a base coverage shell that's going to do good against seam streaks, going to do good against underneath passing, and kind of almost give up the intermediate angle. So uh, this next coverage shell is going to be out of cover six, Willie. And um, what we're going to do here is we have this quarter on the right-hand side. We have uh, this ability now to man up the tight end, and we're going to man up the slot. So we're kind of a, it's kind of a cross man, uh, not even necessarily cross, but more of a man coverage shell. But then on this left side, we're going to go ahead and double flat. So the reason that I like this coverage shell um, is primarily for situations where they're doing a lot of motioning over or they're trying to throw things like a corner route to the solo receiver. So this is something that's pretty popular in U-Trips is just this idea that we're going to motion over. One of the things you see a lot of people do is just a simple corner route here to this left side on the solo receiver. And you're going to see that this cloud is just going to do a really nice job of kind of being in a decent position uh, to be able to defend that. And so that's the whole purpose of that. And then you also have this slot um, the slot manned up. So another thing that you're going to see uh, from a lot of U-Trips players is the slot could be on a, a lot of different routes. One of the primary routes that he's on, and I think this formation or, or this, this cover shell also does a really good job of this, is this kind of deal here where we're going to go to this play deep slot curl. They're going to streak this outside guy, corner this guy, and the running back could be on an underneath in route or a flat route, but it basically looks like this. Essentially what'll happen is this man up with that outside quarter is just gonna do a good job of bracketing that, and you're gonna force them to check it down to the comeback route, which is really what they don't wanna do. They don't want to have to, to check it down to the comeback route for any means. Another cover show that I like, I'm gonna get into some more just kind of roll concepts and just different things like that. Uh, one of my other cover shells that I really like against this formation, you can do out of anything. Uh, but it is a send five covered shell. So we're going to be sending five at uh, the opponent. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're going to third, third, we're going to hard flat. And then really importantly here, um, I really like to have this outside third, but if they're killing you in the seams, which they can do out of U-Trips, then you can leave him in like a half. But the main thing is this cloud flat here on the right side. So if we think about what my user is responsible for, it really is truly responsible for this seam area of the field, looking for tight end seam streaks, looking for um, you know slot slot streaks. But in a case like this play out of out of U trips, you're going to be able to do pretty good, and you're sending five. So you're just going to kind of use her there, and then go back to there, and that plays it pretty well. But just having that cloud flat roll coverage over the top of the U-trips is pretty good. The one thing you'll start to see is sometimes they'll quick snap a play and it might look something like this. 
this is another good uh, combo out of U-Trips. And basically what we're looking to do here is we're looking for this cloud flat to kind of play this outside fade for long enough for this middle third to get over the top of it. And then also we're gonna have to use her this for just a little bit and then we can kind of switch this off and uh, get underneath. So the, the main thing that this is susceptible to is a seam streak on the right side of the screen, which is the primary thing that you yourself uh, need to use her, which also leads me to my next coverage shot that I like against U-Trips, which is Cover 6 Willy. Uh, and the main reason we're calling this is because we already have the Cover 4 set up. So we're just going to simply vert hook this guy on the left. We're going to shade underneath, and then we're going to cloud flat this outside player. This is going to do a really good job against those corner route things that I was talking about. Uh, but it also is going to do a good job against like the running back wheel. Uh, it's going to do a really good job against any kind of seam streak over here to the right side. And so there's just a, a pretty decent coverage uh, for taking away kind of the seam area of the field and kind of covering some of the things that I think makes uh, U-Trip so special. So this is another one that I really like out of this cover six Willie uh, is just utilizing you know this this simple quarter quarter half concept um, and then you can you don't have to have your user on a free rec you can hook curl them to get them a little bit more into the seam um, if you do choose to switch stick one of the real i think hidden benefits against this this um formation is occasionally playing like a hard flat type of coverage can help another variation of this that i don't think is terrible would be something like this and the reason why I like this is it just allows me to play a hard flat. The thing you're going to be vulnerable to with this one is the corner route, but you're going to defend the flat a little bit better. So it's just kind of up to you in terms of how you want to actually go about it. This isn't a terrible adjustment um, doing two quarters. It's going to do a really good job against the seam streak. If they do end up motioning somebody across the field, then you definitely, in my opinion, want to have a half here. Uh, but this is a pretty decent little base shell that I like to use. Um, for a lot of things that U trips can do and you're still able to get pretty decent pressure because you're going to be able to send four but in general these are pretty much my favorite shells against U trips in this game a couple other ones um, would basically just be third third and then we would have to actually end up using over here um, this is something that's kind of situational but this one's not a terrible one either uh, basically just flipping what i was saying uh, a minute ago this is going to do a little better job against the seam streaks, like quarter, quarter. I really like quarter, quarter, half, like something like this. The problem with this, too, though, is the tight end corner is going to be uh, a challenge to guard in this. But, you know, what I would probably do is man this guy up onto the silver receiver. And then, like, let's say I saw that tight end corner. You know, I see something like this. I would just switch stick onto this quarter, and I'd be able to take it. So having those quarters that you can kind of switch stick onto in your defense I think is super, super relevant and super effective. And then um, last coverage is just basic shade down cover four. And the reason I like shaded down cover four against U-Trips is uh, it's just going to do a decent job. Um, on this left side, feel free to cloud flat if they don't have a guy on a route. This is, I think, a really underrated way to defend this formation. Uh, but you can have this quarter out here. I, I just think when all else fails, you can kind of go to something basic like this. U-Trips is a good formation, and situationally, you do need to mix in stuff like this just to kind of keep the lid on the uh, keep the lid on things. Uh, but in general, this is kind of my strategies for defending U-Trips. I want to thank you for watching the video, and if you guys want to check out any of my full offensive or defensive eBooks, they're all available by joining our school community. Our school community is going to be linked in the description below.